Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you're able to take multiple rows of data in Excel and combine them into one row. For example, we look on this spreadsheet and we see that Kyle Arnold was involved in two sports. What would be really nice to have would be Kyle Arnold and have a display of all the sports he was involved in. If you look down below down here, here, you'll see that Maggie was involved in six different sports down below or six different activities. Well, we can't do a whole lot with that because it's spread out over six different rows. But it would be awesome if we could make Maggie show all of her activities in one row. And let me show you how you do that. First of all, you select your first cell that you have at the top click Control T. We're going to be creating a table. We click OK. Let's call this Activities and hit the Enter key. And now we've just created a table that we can work with. So we click again on cell A1 because we're wanting to combine all of the similar state IDs together. Click on your Data tab Underneath Get and Transform Data, we need to use the From Table Range because we just created a table in a range. So we click that. And in the information that opens, we're going to get rid of Changed Type. We don't need that. We're going to base everything off of the State ID for the student. Go up and click Group By. Click Advanced. In the new column name, we're going to call this Student ID. In the operation, we choose Sum. We're going to leave it with this column. Click Add Aggregation. In this spot, type in text in one line, Sum. Then we're going to choose what it is we're going to be grouping. And we're going to be grouping all of those activity names. So we click that and then click OK. Now you'll notice we do have errors. Don't worry about the errors. We also don't need this column right here. So I'm going to click on that column, right click, remove. Now we're sitting OK. This is wonderful. Once we have this information, the student ID is the most important part, as you can tell right here, because that was what everything was lumped with. We go up and we click the View tab. Then we click Advanced Editor. Slide over in the information that opens, and we're seeing our text in one line. At the end of that, we want to click after list.sum backspace, then type in text.combine. I'm right arrowing over till I get after this bracket right there. Type comma, quotation, space, comma, space. Then click Done. Now notice all of the activities that the student was involved in is now associated with that unique ID of the student. Now we're not done because we haven't put it into the spreadsheet yet. In order to get it to the spreadsheet and we have all of this accurate, go up and click on Home tab under Close and Load, choose Close and Load 2. Choose Existing Worksheet. Click the column where you're going to be putting this information. So I'm choosing G1, and you'll see G1 shows up here. Then click OK. We didn't have any errors that showed up here, so we're good. Can exit that. Now notice all of those activities are associated with the student ID that we had. We didn't have to go through and count how many for each student. We let Excel do all of the work for us. In another video, 
I'll show you how you can tally everything that happens to be inside these cells. But this is how you're able to combine multiple rows of data into single rows for your applications.